Where did the idea for partisan come from? This is usually a question I find very difficult to answer on all my other films, but on partisan, there was a very clear spark of inspiration. Um, so I remember when we read this article, I was very happy because I now knew how to answer this question. Where did the idea come from? The article was a feature article. It was in the New York Times um, and my co-writer Sarah found it. And it was a very intimate um, portrait of the lives of a group of kids in Colombia who have been raised and trained to be assassins. And they were all around the age of 13 and 12. And this writer basically um, spent a week with them and um, interviewed them um, and portrayed what their lives were like. And this article disturbed us to our core. Um, these kids were still so childlike, so innocent, and they were describing these kind of horrible um, actions that they've been convinced to um, to do in such a kind of naive um, and such a, they even had a sense of pride over what they were doing. It was as if they were talking about successfully completing a maths test. Um, and this image of a child gunning down a man um, stayed with us and we knew instantly that we wanted to make a film about it. We didn't know what it would be 100%, but it started with this core image um, and uh, as soon as uh, we had that image, we knew straight away that it would become a story about the tragedy of a child not being allowed to see the world through clear and optimistic eyes. And uh, as soon as we started writing, we started focusing, who is this man? Who is this man who is convincing these kids to do it? And why is he doing it? The film was co-written with Sarah and uh, Sarah and I have uh, the unique um, writing relationship in that we're also boyfriend and girlfriend and um, that's the way we worked on all our short films too and the best way I could describe our process is um, that we live and breathe, breathe the movie. Um, there isn't a moment in our lives when we can't talk about it. Um, I guess which would be different to another co-writer where you'd have to just get them on the phone or <laughs> exchange ideas or make a time to meet. Sarah and I are constantly in everything we do, um, I guess, gathering inspiration, researching, chatting about the movie. Um, and interestingly, the part where we actually sit down and write uh, on the computer makes up a very small part of our process. Um, the, the most time is spent talking, gathering ideas, um, letting the world of the movie kind of sink into our brains through all sorts of inspiration. And then we sit down together and we write. I think uh, writing, um, writing the script knowing that I'm gonna direct it does make it um, it does make it a lot easier um, because the script becomes this document that um, I that for for a wide range of people to understand, but it's also kind of this strong blueprint for me. It's for me to direct, and there's a lot of specificity in the script that I put in there, um, giving the scenes a very strong point of view, even maybe on how I'm going to shoot it. Um, so. If I gave the script of Partisan to another director, they would find it highly frustrating because it would be literally telling them what to do. But for me, I find it very helpful because I start to plan from the very beginning on how I'm going to direct it. Um, the danger of that is um, you've got to remain uh, objective on the script as the director. Um, so uh, I'm always keeping that in the back of my mind too, that I want to see it still uh, as a fresh piece of... Um, script and analyze it also um, as a director. Uh, premiering at Sundance was obviously a huge honor, but it's also, it is very important for a film like Partisan, which is a smaller film, um, it's considered art house. It's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not your, your typical movie. So um, to play at Sundance and even just to have that stamp of approval from that festival, which has such a, um, 
amazing history um, of supporting, you know, some of my favourite filmmakers um, is a big deal and it uh, just helps helps get the word out, but it also puts that stamp of approval and says this is this is a film that you got that people should watch, um, and it helps a lot. Uh, final thoughts. I'd just like to thank uh, everyone for coming to see Partisan and choosing to see it um, amongst the uh, the choice of amazing things to see at the festival. And um, I think it's really cool that this festival exists and that it celebrates the art form of writing. Um, so I'm very happy to have the film screen. And uh, we wrote the movie for the big screen. So very excited to uh, share it with you all. I hope you enjoy it.